number nine says be able to calculate the freezing point or boiling point given the solute and the solvent involved. So it shouldn't matter if I give you the solute in grams and the solvent in grams. You should be able to make the conversions you have to. So calculate the new boiling point for a solution of 23.7 grams of copper 2 sulfate and 250 milliliters of water. So your solute needs to be in moles. Your solvent needs to be in kilograms. And then the equation we're using is KB times M times I. So KB, if it's in water, what's KB for water? 0.512. So then my moles of um, solute, I've got 23... 23.7 grams. What's the formula for copper sulfate? Yeah, CuSO4, because sulfate has a minus 2 charge. The copper 2 up there is telling you copper's got 2 to give. So it's going to be... So then if you add up the pieces, copper is 63.55 plus sulfur is 32.07 plus 4 oxygen. So 159.62. So 23.7 divided by 159.62. So this is 0.148 moles of CuSO4. The kilograms of solvent's a little easier. 250 milliliters of water. It's one gram per milliliter. So this is really 250 grams of water. And there's one kilogram and 1,000 grams. So we're really talking 0 0.250 kilograms of water. So finally then, little m is equal to... 0.148 divided by the 0.25. Anybody ahead of me on this? So 0.594. Moles per kilogram. So I've got KB up there. Point five one two. I've got M is point five nine four. So what's I going to be? Yeah, it's going to be just two, because sulfate doesn't fall apart into sulfur and four oxygen. Sulfate is the ion. It's a polyatomic ion. So one copper, one sulfate for a total of two. So the temperature change is only 0 0.61. degrees Celsius. So the new boiling point is my old boiling point of 100.0. I guess I need 0, 0. Plus the 0.61. So make sure you know if you add or subtract it to get your new boiling point or your new freezing point. Don't just tell me the change. Actually tell me the effect on the boiling point.